Uh, really excited, obviously. I mean, we have this wacky point system in our sport. So um, after we were finished at the regional meet, I felt like we had a, a solid performance, not a great performance. Um, and I thought it probably would be good enough to get us to the national meet, but a lot of that depends on what happens throughout the rest of the country and the other regions. And uh, got a few text messages from people, saw some results from other regions. So I felt, I felt like after doing the math that we we would get the invitation, but obviously you never know until it happens. So um, when it happened, it was awesome, really exciting, and, and um, mostly because I felt like we have another really good solid team performance in us, and that didn't come at the regional meet, so I felt like having another opportunity to, to compete at the highest level on the big stage would be wonderful. To find out, um, we were really, really excited, and um, we, uh, we found out on the same day as we ran the Nationals, so it was kind of um, exhausting to be nervous twice a day, like before the race and before getting to know. So um, we gathered together, to, together uh, in the evening. Um, we watched the flow track um, call us calculator together. And uh, well, they announced the men's team first and then uh, when the women's team's uh, list was um, released and everybody just uh, was jumping around and having a dance party after we found out. It was just like all of a sudden a burst of just so much emotion in one little room that um, I don't even know, we all kind of reacted in the same way where it's just like a cacophony of like sound and, and like so much noise and I think our coach was on speakerphone um, and he said like he's described it the best so he's like it was the best screams he'd ever heard so um, we were definitely really excited it's been something we've been building up to for the past couple years. The field is huge and it's really competitive and it and it's one of those races that you have to be able to manage running in a lot of traffic and you can be in 50 or 100th place and still be running well so I mean, as far as our expectations individually and as a team I think that if we really go out and run what we're capable of we're capable of being a top 20 team and obviously it would be nice to get an all-american um, from the individual side and Laura Sir is definitely capable of, of doing that um, but again it's all about just uh, maintaining sort of your uh, composure in a field of that caliber. The team goal is to finish in uh, top 20, which is a um, pretty realistic goal when we uh, look at the uh, last year results. And my individual goal uh, is just to give my best and um, finish as high as I can and race in my highest level. Team goals are a little more focused because Nationals is such a big, um, a big field. It's kind of hard to do a lot of individual goals. Um, unless you're a top 10 uh, runner, which is very hard to accomplish, but we definitely want to get top 20. I think that's a good realistic uh, goal and a good step in the direction of being really competitive at the national level. Um, so that's just a matter of working together like we have been all season. We're one of the top 31 teams in the country. We're the smallest university competing in the field, and that's kind of a cool thing, but uh, I'm just excited to go out and test our abilities. I, I felt like we should have been there last year but didn't perform well enough at the region meet this year we've performed well enough and had a little luck with what happened in the other regions so just excited to get out there and and compete and see what see what we're capable of doing